Miss Roberts? I'm sorry I couldn't get here till this late. I'm Lieutenant Murphy from headquarters. Oh, you're a detective? Well, that's what my paycheck says, ma'am. Oh, well, of course, you're not in uniform. But uh, come over here behind my desk. I want to show you something. Yes, ma'am. Has anyone been kidnapped lately? Huh? What? Anyone named Melanie? Do you know? Why? Well, this book came back to the library damaged, and I deciphered a kidnap message from the damaged page. See? Read it. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you deciphered this, uh, this note? <clears throat> You're laughing at me. I want to do my duty and you laugh. Oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. We'll check on... Well, say, what do you know? Yes? What is it? Oh, nothing, nothing, miss. Uh, you took your glasses off, that's all. <clears throat> uh, what'd you say your name was again, miss? My name is Miss Prudence Roberts. What has that got to do with it? Well, we have to know the source of our information. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this does look like a ransom note now that I look at it. Of course it does. But uh, we haven't any case on deck right now that this could possibly fit into. I never heard of a ransom note without a kidnap case. Oh, you haven't. Very well. I'm sorry I bothered you. We have to close the library now, so good evening. Uh, uh, just a minute, miss. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to find out who damaged this book. Do you see this card? These are all the people who have taken the book out. Six altogether. Mm-hmm. Lucille Baumgarten, August Beasley, Walter Evans... Well, Jeanette that's fine, miss. Uh, look, uh, maybe I could drop around and see how you're making out. Uh, tomorrow? No, I wouldn't in- inconvenience you. You needn't bother. Gee, miss, you... <laughs> You talk such good English. No, I try to. Well, look, could I see you home? It's pretty late, you know. I feel quite safe, thank you. The worst that ever happened to me was one night when a vulgar masher spoke to me. He said, hi, toots. Imagine. Oh. Did you have your glasses on? Why, come to think of it, that was the time I'd left them to be repaired. How very peculiar. Yeah, yeah. Say, miss, uh, how would you like to see a picture tonight with me, huh? I wouldn't think of going out with someone I've met only once, Lieutenant. Oh, yeah, yeah. I I guess you wouldn't. And besides, because the police of this city are obviously so inefficient, I have a great deal of work to do. Yes, Lieutenant Murphy, I'm going to be very busy tonight. (laughs) Miss Baumgarten, I only wanted to make sure... You're sure the page was missing when you read it? Oh, it was missing, all right. I remember because it took me quite a while to figure out what happened. But I finally did, so it didn't worry me. Say, I'm not going to be in any trouble over this, am I? No. It was damaged by someone before you. But, Miss, I didn't even read the book. I saw the name on it, see? Gone with the wind. So I thought it was about airplanes. I'm building the glider, but when I started to read it, crime and ant I think they ought to name books so you know what you're getting. It'd save a lot of trouble. My dear young lady, a man of my age and education is aware of the value of books and cares for them properly, even novels. Yes, yes, I, I remember that page was missing. Obviously ripped out an act of wanton destruction. Mm, shocking, shocking. What do you want? Does Miss Jeanette Craig live here? What's that? Does Miss Jeanette Craig live here? She did. She moved. Ah. When did she move? Oh, about two weeks ago, Monday, I think. Yes, on the 17th. But she returned this book on the 18th. That book? Oh, no. I was the one that returned that for her. I was cleaning out her room and I found it. Well, I work in the public library and this book was damaged. I wanted to speak to Miss Craig about it. Oh, well, all I know is that uh, she didn't expect to go when she did. Her room still paid for, and she left most of her things. Ah. Someone took sick and sent for her, they said. They called for her late one night, and off she went in the rush with two men. But if she left her belongings, she'll be coming back for her. Oh, I guess she will, or she'll send for them. Uh, 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 when did you say her room would be available? Her room? Yes, I'm thinking of moving, and I like this neighborhood, and I thought... Oh, well, come right in, and I'll show it to you. Now, it's real nice, first floor. Carefully stock in these halls. I'm used to it, and I can roam around with my eyes shut and still... So, uh, find my way. Mm. Uh, Now, uh, this was her room. Come in, it's real nice in the daytime. Is the uh, closet good and deep? Well, go ahead and look. That's her things in there, and some real nice things, too. I don't see how they do it being a nightclub dancer. Yes, lovely things. 
Huh. Funny. This monogram is M.S. and on this bag, too. Those aren't her initials. Oh, you know how it is. These girls lend each other their clothes. Probably belongs to a friend of hers. Did you ever hear her mention Melanie? Huh? No, no, we don't allow any eating in the rooms. Well, I'll take it. But I have a roommate. Well, it's all right with me. Fine, then I'll get her and we'll move in tonight. Huh? Tonight? Well, all right, I'll move Miss Craig's things into my room then. Oh, no, 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 leave them right here. You see, uh, I want to know when someone comes for her things because I do want to find out where Miss Craig is. You see, I'm terribly anxious about the, um, uh, the book. I really am. <laughs> mystery. We move out of a perfectly good apartment into a room next door to a pool hall. But I have to find out where Jeanette Craig is. Uh, and even when the lights are out, we have that darn neon sign. Chop suey. Chop suey. But don't you think it's strange, Maggie? All her things initial M.S. instead of J.C. M. Cook stands for... Oh, well... Hey. Hey, listen. What's that? Shh. Someone's unlocking the door. Holy smoke. Someone's come for her clothes. I know it. Yes? What do you want? We, uh, I got, uh, well, I didn't expect to see... Uh, uh, we rented this room today. Wait, I'll turn on the light. Now, what do you want? Well, you see, I was sent to get to... Uh, uh, How'd you get a key? I know. You've come for Miss Craig's things. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, Miss, that's right. And it's a good thing you rented a room because I come to pay up and settle everything. This way it's going to be a lot easier. This way you can just take the things. They're right here in the closet. Yeah? I'll help you. Yeah? Thanks. Here. Uh, it's quite a load, oh, isn't it? Yeah, well, thanks, man. Thank you. I got a stuff here. But you'll have to make two trips. There yeah. are so many things. Yeah, yeah. I'll be right back as soon as I get these in a car. Quick, Maggie. I have to dress. Help me. Well, why didn't you ask him where the girl I can't was? ask him. Now, look, Maggie. I'm going to slip out now, and while he's in here, I'm going downstairs. Oh, why are you messing in all of this? And I want you to cover up for me and delay him as long as possible. No, but jeepers, what are you going to do? Come here. Look out the window. See his car down there? The long black one? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Well, I'm going to get in that taxi and follow him. <laughs> this game backwards. It's been 20 miles and I haven't lost him yet. Keep close, watch. He may turn off in an effort to evade us. I'll see him. I'll see him. Hey, what's the matter, huh? You move out on you? Well, I don't blame you for being sore, but lady, there's all kinds of angles. I beg your pardon. For instance, I notice you wear glasses. Now, there's a saying, men never make passes at girls Please, who wear... will you confine yourself to your driving? Okay. Okay. Hello, Oh, hurry. Why? We're way out in the country. Ah, uh, you said it. It's turning off again, up ahead. How your driveway? Pull up at the entrance. Okay. Well, this must be it. There's a the house. And there's the car. What a... Uh, what a lonely-looking place. Yeah. Now what? Now, you wait here, driver. Uh, 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 one minute, lady. The time has come to tell you I got you clocked at seven bucks and eighty-five cents. That much? And I forgot my pocketbook. I, I thought so. The old game. But I had the money at home. Outside. You heard me? Outside. That's right. Now, if you was a man, I'd take it out of your jaw. As it is. Oh, please. You are going to leave me. Yeah. You're going to walk. But you can't leave me here. Lady, I can't. Anyway, they might have a fall in the house. I don't even know where I am. I'll tell you where you are, baby. You're on your own. Oh, to think that anyone could be so... I'll report you. Hey. Hey, you. What? Good heavens. Quick. Quick, come closer, please. Uh, all right. Oh, please, take 
me away from here. Please help me get away from here. Who are you? Melanie Stevenson. They won't let me go. I think they're going to kill me. Melanie? Ah. But where's Miss Craig? I'm Miss Craig. Oh, please, I'll tell you later, but please. Well, can you climb through and drop from the sill? No. I'm, I'm chained to the bed. Oh, please, hurry and bring someone back with you. That's the only way I can... All right, all right. I'll run back and phone Lieutenant Murphy and the police will... Oh, no, they won't. Come in, Church, and stay a while. 